Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, DNH Realtors. Well, today is Sunday, and on Sundays I like to do my new construction follow-up video tours. So today I'm at Prospect Creek in Kinder Ranch, and behind me is a home being built by David Weekly for one of my clients. This is a Colton plan, and it is a big, beautiful home. Let's go check it out. Now here at the Prospect Creek section of Kinder Ranch, they're gonna have their higher end, little bigger models. And this is one of their newer sections. My clients got in here pretty early. So you do have some construction going on still around you. But some other big, beautiful homes. And uh, it's a really nice area. Of course, you're gonna have your elementary school, middle school, and high school all here in the Kinder Ranch community. And just back there, well, let me, let's go up closer to the house and you can see the, some of the views. This house isn't scheduled to close until sometime in September. They're still working on the dates. All right, so you can see off in the distance, there's gonna be some nice little views in between the houses here because uh, yeah, we're out in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. There are some views to be had. All right, let's go check out the inside of this gorgeous home. Oh, no electricity yet, so bear with me. You do have a nice porch for some front porch sitting. Nice tall eight foot door as you come in. Right when you come in, you have a big, big study. You can see the French doors are about ready to go up and get painted. But yeah, it's gonna be a big study in here. They have painted the walls. All right, we, looks like we have a guest bedroom right up in the front of the house. Let's check out the closets. That's just an average closet. But this guest bedroom is gonna have its own full bath. Kind of a work in progress, so uh, keep that in mind. This house is still a few months out from being finished. All right, here is the living space. You are gonna have the fireplace and plenty of oh, tall ceilings in here. Really tall vaulted ceilings in the main living area. Your breakfast nook slash formal dining rooms can be over in this corner. And a big kitchen. This is gonna be a large island right here. Your pantry, looks to be a pretty good sized pantry. Double stacked ovens. And then your built-in microwave. Cooktop surface right there. And lots of can lighting are gonna be going in into this room. Show you the view from the future sink. This is what the plumbing looking like right now. Notice they've got the little flexible pipes there. That's gonna be, go a long way to make sure what happened in February never happens again with pipes bursting. So that's a good thing to have. But still, if you ever do have that deep freeze, it's always good to open up a faucet or two in the house just to relieve some of that pressure. But this is your, uh, dining room section and we see kind of the view out the side these are going to be very energy efficient windows and these windows here this is definitely kind of a david weekly thing they like to do where the windows are only coming halfway down that allows you to put a piece of furniture right there as well so if you got a little cabinet or something you can put right there without blocking the window but you do have Beautiful wrought iron staircase going up and a nice wrought iron uh, railing. Well, speaking of which, let's go check it out. And they do have your in floor set up, your outlet. I can see they got the pass through going here for the TV, which is gonna be really nice so you can keep from hiding those wires when you put your TV up. and. They've got this little tube in there, making it real easy to just kind of fish those wires down. Very convenient, it's one of those things you don't realize you need until you got it. Neat little workspace here, perfect if you want to put a little desk or a lamp. All right. 
right, right when you come up, you have a built-in media room. Let me see if my phone can add a little light to the situation. A little bit, not much. But they do have it pre-wired. So if you've got your couch, couch sitting here, I see the center channel speakers pre-wired there and those other speakers. So this can be really nice, perfect size to have your couch, your big screen TV. You do have a closet set up right here to put your games or whatever you want and the double doors leading into this room. All right, a little view from the top. All right, we also have three bedrooms up top. So good sized bedrooms, wow, these are nice. Decent sized closet. Some tall ceilings up here for second floor. They will share the bathroom, so hopefully they don't beat each other up too much. Unless, of course, I go in here and find out that one of these rooms has its own private bath, which is possible. Oh, there it is. So this, these two rooms will share a bath. So this can be the Jack and Jill. There's the sink and the toilet and bathtub. So these two rooms will share. That one will have its own private but these two rooms will have the bigger closets. Well, this room has a bigger closet anyways. I haven't looked at this closet yet. Okay, that's gonna have a standard closet just like the other room. So figure out which kid you like best and they can have uh, access to the other bathroom there and the other kids you don't really like, they can use this, these two. This room here does give you access to what I call our Texas basement, where you can put some more boards down. They are gonna put a whole bunch of uh, insulation down here. You do have the radiant barrier already up, but that is gonna be, David Weekly has, these are two by eights it looks like, so they're gonna put a bunch of insulation in here to really keep your utility bills down. But after that insulation is down, you can put a few boards in here, be cautious of the wires, just to extend where you wanna store your Christmas tree stuff. Or holiday things. All right, let's go ahead and head back downstairs. All right, we are back downstairs. Another look at, ooh, two different pantries there. It's kinda neat. Cause that's actual pantry. Not sure what, it might be a double pantry. I'll have to look at the plans. All right, let's check out this outdoor living space because it's big. Look at this. If you're in some outdoor sitting, this can be a really nice spot for it. And they did keep a lot of these oak trees. I know when we were initially going through this year hole, my buyers were really wanting a lot that the kids can play a bunch of soccer on. Sorry, there's a plane buzzing above us here. But you do have a relatively flat space right here going back. And the yard's gonna be ending. This, is, this house has such a big footprint on it. Um, kind of in this open space there is kind of your backyard, but you will have all this space right below us and a little L around the tree. And if they wanted to set up a little soccer goal or something right there, they definitely can to, to do that. So it can be utilized for that, just not as big a space as when I did those initial videos for you of the lot, because this house is big, including the back porch. The sun is gonna be setting behind the house, but thankfully with these oak trees being right here, that's gonna have minimum effect because you can see where the sun be creeping down real quickly those trees can provide some shade for you so it's not going to be that big of a deal to where your, the sun just coming in and really heating up this back porch area 
But this can be great for entertaining and hosting parties. Nobody on this side of you um, directly because it's just a corner lot. But you can see some of those views back in the distance there. All right, let's go check out this owner suite. Another view of the kitchen and all those lighting that's going to be coming in. It's also a three car garage. It's gonna be kind of hard to see because it's pretty dark. But yeah, there's a full big, big three car garage with a, another extra space back there for if you wanna do some projects, it's plumb for the water softener, but you got a lot of space back there to where your vehicles don't fill up the whole garage. Very nice to have. All right, coming in from the garage, you do have a mud room. And I'm assuming one of these rooms is gonna be a powder room. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the powder room right here. And I'm not sure what this one's gonna be. Uh, yeah, this is your utility room. Sorry, it is completely dark. Can't really see that. All right, wow, this is a big, big bedroom. All right, I don't wanna walk all the way in here because they got the little tile separators. So I'm gonna be very careful with my footing. But let me see if my arm can stretch it. Right here is gonna be your super shower by David Weekly. one. Uh, vanity right there and the big shout big closet back behind us but yeah I don't want to mess up the tile by stepping on it so sorry the video quality is not gonna be the super greatest but I will have another video coming up in about another month on this house but tall ceilings in here and some great views from this uh, bedroom of what's going on in the backyard which is going to be some really nice trees i got that plastic film on it right now so the windows don't look so great one last view of the main living space as it sits late july july 25th to be exact 2021. All right, that's gonna wrap a tour of this David Weekly home under construction in the Prosper Creek section of Kinder Ranch in Bolverde, Texas. This is the Colton plan, beautiful plan, and I hope you enjoy this video. I know my clients are uh, looking forward to watching this video but I'm doing these videos for my clients and also to showcase what I do for other potential buyers. So if you are thinking about doing, moving to this part of Texas or looking for a home and you want a realtor that does these new construction follow-up tours, shoot me a text and I'll be happy to schedule a Zoom meeting with you. I do these videos trying to grow my business and it costs you nothing to use a realtor. So feel free to reach out to me. Anyways, that's my spill. Uh, Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.